have the opportunities to use projectiles like that. Yeah. And when you think about the design of a character versus another character design and how that contradicts one another, right, in terms of a battle, it's more of villager that comes out on top. So for Lumer to also understand, okay, yeah. I know what villager can do against me. I have to be careful enough to fall into that. Yeah, and uh, it was kind of testament, like in the last game, how Lumber kind of like stopped doing PK Fire for for the like half of the set, and then just a few uh, PK Fire setups, and then, you know that was the set. Yeah. Nice landing there, and the second air man into the crowd, immediately pushing Lumber with the corner carry. Man, if anybody's looking to steal, uh, sorry, momentum against Lumber, it's going to be Charlie down smash looking for the two frame. Yeah. Charlie's mad. Oh, he's, he is not happy about that last two against Kido. And even can be, you know? Yeah, I always try to, like, uh, give props to players when I see them playing. And it's just kind of like, oh man, I know you're sad, but you be good. But that, you never want to hear that. No. You always not, not within seconds of losing your side. Good parry, nice. Quick punish. Nice, Charlie with no offstage play. He knows Wolf can have a. If he gets it wrong, Ness will be the one who uh, pretty much winning the offstage play. You know, I love Ness's down air, but I, I see Lumber going a little too many of them. At least, like, with Wolf. I feel like Wolf, uh, he's not a character that is easily down air as Ness. Nice, we get fire into the following up air. That was pretty stylish, you gotta admit. It was good too because the way that Charlie was like, copying Luffy kind of just cut onto that and he was like, for it. But like I mentioned earlier, one thing Charlie is really good is momentum and he's able to bring a lot into it in his opponent. Luffy already at 78%. Honestly, if Charlie can kind of get a grab or a falling area like Nair, he could definitely lead him into a tech situation. I put Luffy at an even higher deficit. And this is, um, like, I think his quickest, uh, air, like, get off the aerial is like his Nair, and I think it's like seven frames. Yeah. And not only that, Charlie, oh, that was good. I like the fact that Charlie is also using drift back in the air to avoid, to make sure he spaces it properly, but also avoid getting called by Lindbrain if he hits the shield and doesn't get it right. Oh. Positive trade here for Charlie. And putting him at only a two stock deficit against Lindbrain, 78%. He's got to watch out for the side spot in the PK Thunder to kind of stop Wolf from covering back on the stage. It does put Charlie back on stage, but to the avail of the fact that Lindbrain can also still edge guard Charlie the way he is. Oh, this is, this is some high octane stuff. Yeah, both Fox and Wolf. I wouldn't know too much about Falcon. Both Fox and Wolf suffer really greatly against a character on Ness because of their recovery is being so important. Really well. Oh yeah, it's always uh, it's always good to have that as an enemy game for certain characters. Mm -hmm. Almost four out. Trying to look at the setup for the back of here. Can you get the down smash? And he reads the side stall. Yeah. He was so used to that because the way Lumbre had played it the last time, Charlie with the call out, you can't get up like that for free every single time. Yeah. And it's like, uh, I just see Lumbre trying to like find a way for that ledge option to work. <laughs> so he's just not finding any, any solutions. You know what? Shouts out to Charlie for having long hair. Long hair club. Yo, real talk, man. This is not the song. Yeah. <laughs> this song is not the way, man, for this for this for this set. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Professor Oak is talking somewhere. Nah, man. This, to is, you, this, like, is, this is X and Y Lumio City. Sorry, OG Pokemon player is talking here. Last one I played was like Crystal. Oh man, that was yeah, easy. No. Good spot dodge there. Even get the ground immediately punishing Luber for extending himself at the ledge. I mean, he, if he sees that Charlie's at the ledge, right, the first thing he wants to oh. do is make, oh, not enough frames. I wonder if he uh, just kind of was trying to be too safe. No, it, it was it was the height. It was the height for him, right? I like that yeah. Lumber, uh, he, uh, Lumber kind of knew that the B recovery was going to go straight to the ledge, like instead of going above him. Yeah, not only that, he also waited for Charlie to run out of invincibility. What attack chase with the PK fire, but Charlie was able to get out with the spot, though, sorry, with the uh, footstool. Yeah. 
know, nice there to get out of uh, that hair situation. Up throw, nice. Looking to get the forward air, and the oh, that was good. Play too, but yeah, Lumbre switches it. side, and the range. Yeah, wow. If anybody robbed the stock here, it was going to be Lumbre. Probably had all the setup here, back throw, no, good setup here. With immediately with the back air. Stops Wolf's recovery here, and Charlie forced to overshoot it and gets grabbed with the back throw. Once again, the stage has been set here for Lumbre to go for the edge guard play. Dang, Charlie has to fight for uh, center stage at this point. For a second, I thought Charlie was gonna down be the the PK flash. Oh. If I were Charlie at this point, I would not even risk <laughs> it. Right. No grab, back throw. That's still not enough. He sets that, yeah, he knew, he knew. He knew he was going to jump. In case you forgot, forward air kills in this game. Yeah. Not only does forward air kill, it's the fact that Lumbre knows that Charlie is already immediately to go for the ledge, and if he finds him at the right opportunity, that forward air will be enough. Yeah, a nice little rising forward air. Kind of pick him right up. Forward air train here, putting him all the way to the corner, but Charlie drops it oh, and he puts it in a tough that spot. That was amazing. He was like, oh, you're going to have to do that? I'm going to have to die. Nice PK Thunder. Grabs ledge. See, for Charlie here, he could be looking for a back air too as well. Something to call out Lumber for also going for a side stall, but also forward tilt, but at this point in the game too, Lumbre has kind of been already not used to going for side stall. As I say, classic commentator curse coming in from yeah. But I like how uh, he used it to kind of like anticipate you know, that aggressive run and to try to like, you know, follow up on the combo. Back, no, no, Charlie mashes out just in the nick of time. Charlie's barely missing the, mm. oh, the ledge. You know what's funny? Uh, the camera often like kind of messes with uh, people's recoveries. I feel like uh, when the camera went off stage to go follow them, uh, Charlie just kind of didn't know that he was that far off stage. Nice. Oh. That'll do it, yeah. Especially with the fact that the, the platform is already moving away. He's got a free assist. Charlie has to stay calm here. I like the fact that he's running away from PK Fire and not trying to jump over it, not trying to worry about uh, reflectoring it. He doesn't want to jump over it and call out by losing He doesn't want to reflect it and worry about the end lag. This will be tough for Wolf, yeah. It's the recovery. Yeah, I remember he takes it over. It's, it's, uh, I mentioned it earlier too, that's the one thing that, that Ness has over both Fox and Wolf. It's the recovery. And yeah. Falco to a, a really solid extent as well. Yeah. Because they all have the same recovery plan. And Ness has those hitboxes to make sure that Wolf, Fox, and Falco and Spaces pretty much don't recover. Yeah. And it's just, the trick is just like getting, like forcing those character types to just like go off stage like yeah. that. Yeah. PK Fire is really good to catch, you know, both of them going for uh, Illusion. And Forward Air is a really good last hitbox. Yeah. Yeah, I think like uh, Forward Air and Up Air is really good in this. Kind of matchup where, uh, yeah. like, Wolf is just such a, a strong combo character. Yeah. To have something like up air and forward air to kind of just like break out of that with, with the disjoints. And on top of that, like, uh, some of the multi hits, you know, it's hard to really like estimate how long to hold shield. Try to try to move the forward tool. Good use of jab, putting him off the stage, putting him with the center stage, but he really switches it up. See, for Charlie here, it's also his ability to understand when Lumbre will be switching things up slowly by going for PK Thunder or a side stall. Down smash is not going to be the two for him just yet. Yeah, he's getting those two frames earlier. I don't know if it's a nest thing, but um, it's not connecting. 
Also for Charlie too as well. Like he's been missing a lot of the two frames, but also I feel like he needs to start slowly going for empty hops, faking out his recovery yeah. with pushing uh, Lubre for overextending as well. Yeah, he's just kind of like standing there making the obvious like what he wants to do. Yeah, this time he's not gonna go for the ledge. He knows where he has to aim for. He can't risk the ledge because he'll get caught by the yo-yo. Nice. Both players immediately evacuating that shield. And we still have not lost one stock here. Yeah. Okay. Like Charlie just out immediately. Doesn't want to get caught in the slice off. Yeah, and I, I think that was like the first uh, mm. successful version of that off the ledge that uh, we've seen Lumber do. Back air killing the back air. Uh, back kill killing the back air. Nah, that's not good. Uh, revenge is sweet. It's also good for Charlie yeah. to understand too. Like, I can't go. I can't. I have to make sure at the ledge, right? The one thing that Ness is able to go for is PK fire, grab. And those, those opportunities, right? If I'm overextending myself with that attack, I can't. I will be punished. I will. Same thing. I feel like Charlie finds himself at center stage here, but for Lumbre, he kind of understands okay, if we're going to stay at center stage and not on a platform, I can go, definitely go for PK fire and you know, grab a quick percent. But Charlie, the one thing I'm still also like from Charlie that he's keep, he keeps in his game plan too, as well. He's kind of been running away from PK Fire. He knows I've been getting called out a lot in the air. Yeah. And he was running into a lot of them when he was running away, like kind of dashing back and forth. And now he's just kind of not even like that. Down throw. Looking for a two frame here. No. Yeah, he's still like sending it. At this point for Charlie 2, it's also important for him to understand Lumbre is very, very uh I wouldn't say com too comfortable, but I would say comfortable enough the fact that, okay, I've been getting up on the ledge pretty pretty decently here, and I've been, I've been getting two frames. For Charlie, the mix-up on the ledge here might be a crucial player. Good. I like it. Good use of empty hop. Able to cross up Charlie and go for the falling up air. Trying to mix up Charlie on the shield timing. Good parry to the back throw. Not going to be able to get stage control in the Lumber's hands. Mm -hmm. cross. That was good because the way that Wolf recovers was going to be enough timing to stop it. Yeah, and somehow he managed to force a back air on. Yeah, these, uh, these PK uh, fires that are like, uh, like Lumber's using the, the platform is kind of like like a mix up. I'm yeah. like, will this PK fire go through or am I going to cancel it and then just run up on him and do something else? Nice dash attack. Almost gets the dash attack after the nair too. Everybody's being extra careful around Wolf's range here and Charlie looking to slowly catch up to him. Gets the nair, no confirm, no even, not even stage control. Just at this point, Charlie is looking for blow for blow. Nice, looking to set up back in here. He does have Lumbre at 95%, looking slightly towards the ledge. And he catches a jump here. For Charlie, he's got to watch out for jumping too as well. Blaster, forcing the low recovery. This could be a two frame for Charlie, but not getting it just yet. He might, might have been a little late on that. Like a tiny yes. bit late. Hmm. He noticed the spacing there from Lumbre was not enough. Takes off the jacket now, punches his clock in for an extra hour of work here. Game five scenario. There is hope. Oh, most definitely. There is hope. Yeah. Game five, guys. I think this is the first game five. No, wait. Yeah, this is the first game five I've commentated. Today. Mm. Today. Oh, I was gonna Today. say, I was like, hold on. <laughs> I like to have little, like, hallmarks and, you know, like, hey, I did that, but today. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to thank both Charlie for understanding how Lumbre's game plan has been working, but also Lumbre knowing what to kind of do against Charlie. Yeah. I mean, he, no, it's not more so or less what to kind of do, but most definitely what to do against Charlie too as well. Yeah, these games are going like to you know last or last stock. And I mean Lumber's a really great player. Charlie's oh. really good. Mm. And that was enough. That was actually enough too. And the way that he had it mixed up too was Charlie was so I don't know, there's no other way to say it. Lumber just kinda had Charlie wrapped around his finger. Charlie keeping up the same game time. He doesn't want to walk away from PK Fire and then look to see if Luber is going to overextend. PK Footer to check the shield here, buying Luber enough time to come back on the stage. There's no shield break, but that would have been close if had Luber waited maybe an extra second. Yeah. 
I feel like uh, if, if Umbri, like, uh, kind of, like, maybe mixed around his options, he could have got a shield break on him. Yeah, at least for, like, like maybe a few frames of anything. Yeah. Nice, Charlie comes in. Down here. Mm -hmm. Umbre looking for a way to get the grab follow up afterwards or the down smash. And Charlie yeah. punishing Umbre for that side stun once again. The fact that Wolf has that little bit of a pushback before he goes for the forward smash point is enough to move his hurtbox away. Yeah, and then, you know, just when the hurtbox actually hits, it goes forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wanted to set up for back air. Back throw, enough. PK Thunder. And I like the fact that Charlie still understands, right? I can't go for that low recovery. I'm gonna have to go for that that high full fire. Yeah, you don't want to do but sometimes you gotta. Call up the area from the ledge. A nice patience from Moonray. Oh what's I'm going for the, the down smash. I'm trying to do like a uh, tomahawk MP hop uh, down smash, but Yeah, he was even looking for not relatively a down smash, I would say he never looking for a back air. Because of the spacing, like so. Come back from the edge, cross my opponent up, go for back air. Air trade. Charlie with a lot of control in his hand. He's going to go Ooh. for the angle downwards oh there. My God. Expect the unexpected whenever you play against Charlie. Charlie punching in his ticket here to losers finals. Flip that. I haven't seen that one yet.